Perhaps you have seen soft robotic grippers like this before. They are remarkable because they can securely grasp a wide variety of objects with different shapes without damaging them. These soft robotic grippers are used in the food industry, so they need to meet food safety standards. Depending on their complexity, soft robotic grippers on the market can range in price from $200 to $3,000, and even higher. It would be impractical to use a low-cost robot with an excessively expensive gripper. Therefore, today I will guide you on how to create this soft gripper at home with a cost of just $10. By using Food Safe, a bee molding silicone rubber, I have used this $10 soft gripper with the Delta XS robot. And while it may not be very fast, it does function effectively. Okay, now, I will guide you on how to get started. First, access the GrabCAD page of Diltax Robot through the download section. Access the Soft Gripper model, where you will find SolidWorks design files and STTL files. You can customize them as needed and use them for 3D printing. I believe you will find it easy to do so. After 3D printing all the parts, you will have the components similar to what you see in the video. There will be three main parts. These three parts will work together to create the finger segments after two moldings. We will also have some additional auxiliary parts to assist in creating holes and threads for attaching the air tube connectors. The silicone liquid will come in two bottles, labeled as A and B with one bottle containing the curing agent. We will mix them together in a one-to-one -one ratio. It's important to note that they need to be mixed very thoroughly. To ensure that, continuously mix them for about four minutes. The next step is the bubble removal stage for the silicone liquid mixture. If you cannot create a vacuum environment, let the silicone liquid mixture sit in the open air for one hour. In my case, I am using compressed air in combination with a vacuum valve. The air bubbles will dissipate within a few minutes. Now, pour the silicone mixture into the mold cavity. Seal the lid tightly, ensuring to cover the button as shown in the video. After 6 to 8 hours, open the mold. We will not remove the dried silicone pieces yet. We will attach these additional 3D printed pieces. They will help us connect the air connectors later on. Next, use the remaining mold cavity to pour in the new silicone mixture. Use the previous mold cavity to cover the newly poured silicone in the mold. Continue to seal it tightly and wait for an additional 8 hours. Let's open it up and see the final product. They are very soft. They may not be suitable for initial trials. I have revised the design more than 3 times to achieve the appropriate thickness. Now. It's time to attach the air connectors to the soft fingers. Then, attach each finger onto the base plate. If aluminum milling is not possible, you can fully 3D print the base plate. We will connect all three fingers with a single air tube. And this air tube is further divided into a negative pressure air tube and a positive pressure air tube. Initially, when I used compressed air from an air tank, the soft finger inflated like this. Therefore, I used the Delta X2 vacuum pump with significantly lower pressure. This device can create a vacuum as well as generate positive pressure air. Despite the slow opening and closing speed of the fingers, it is still capable of securely gripping a wide range of objects. Both lightweight and heavy fruits can be securely held by the fingers without falling, even when shaken. Additionally, this soft gripper does not crack eggs when handling them. 
Even a water bottle cannot slip out of the soft gripper's grasp. It can grip almost anything. Now, place the fruits on the conveyor belt and test the soft gripper along with the Delta XS robot. It looks great indeed. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.